Welcome, adventurers. As I hopped into the world of Minecraft today, a sea of pumpkins lay sprawled beneath my feet, their orange hues painting the ground with festive splendor. Today was no ordinary day. Excitement coursed through me as I jumped around, a night vision potion coursing through my veins, its effect casting eerie green particles all around me. My heart raced with anticipation for the adventures that awaited. Turning around to take in my surroundings, I could feel the thrill of discovery tingling in my toes. My curiosity peaked. I ventured closer. As I approached the cave, its entrance loomed before me like a gateway to mysteries unknown. With a deep breath, I crossed the threshold, my boots echoing on the stone floor. The passage stretched before me. A surge of excitement propelled me forward. I dashed through the base, barely noticing the green-hued interiors filled with towering shelves of books. There was no time to stop. Something deep within urged me to keep moving. Rushing past a cozy bedroom, I descended a flight of stairs into another chamber. My breath hitched as my eyes landed on a creature unlike any I had ever seen. It was long and looming with spindly legs and arms that stretched eerily into the darkness. Its smile, wide and unsettling, sent a shiver down my spine. Yet, the thrill of the unknown kept my feet rooted to the spot, my eyes locked on this strange being. Next to it was a portal, its frame adorned with shimmering green blocks that seemed to pulsate with an otherworldly energy. With a deep breath to steady my nerves, I stepped into the portal. As I did so, the world around me dissolved into a swirl of colors, and when it settled, I found myself in a place unlike any other I had ever seen in Minecraft. The ground beneath my feet was covered with peculiar plant structures and trees that twisted into the sky in shapes that defied all logic. Soon, my attention was captured by a large chest standing alone amidst the strange flora. It seemed out of place. Inside, the chest was brimming with eggs. Each egg was unique, yet remarkably similar to the others, their shells adorned with intricate patterns that seemed to shimmer slightly in the peculiar light of this world. I reached out and carefully selected a few eggs, feeling their smooth, cool surface against my palms. With a purposeful stride, I took to the skies, my eyes scanning the landscape for the perfect spot to begin my next project. As I flew over the rugged terrain, I spotted a hill bordered by fields of grey concrete, a material perfect for my construction. I swooped down, landing gracefully on the summit. There, I began the task of crafting an enclosure. I laid down blocks methodically, building walls four blocks high to ensure ample space for whatever was about to spawn. With the enclosure completed, anticipation thrummed through my veins. I selected the monster cat egg from my inventory. As I placed the egg on the ground, it began to shake, then crack, revealing the creature inside. What emerged was nothing like a cat. Instead, before me stood a bizarre amalgamation of animals, a creature with the body of a camel and a head resembling a bizarre fusion of rabbit and human features. Its off-white color and unsettling smile sent a shiver down my spine. Despite its disconcerting appearance, I couldn't help but be fascinated. Undeterred by its unsettling smile, I grabbed some stones from my inventory. I had a plan. Right next to this first enclosure, I would construct another. The world around me buzzed with the typical sounds of Minecraft. A cow mooed in the distance, a horse neighed softly, and a spider hissed from a shadowy corner. As I laid down stone after stone, the walls of the new enclosure rose swiftly. The familiar presence of normal Minecraft mobs around the construction site lent a comforting sense of normalcy to the otherwise strange activities I was engaged in. Once the walls were up, I moved inside to complete the structure, placing stone blocks overhead to secure the space. I realized the profound uniqueness of this world. Each creature, each egg, represented a new discovery, a new story to be told. With the enclosure ready, I returned to my inventory to retrieve the next egg. This was the mini monster. Excitement bubbled within me as I placed the egg on the ground. It cracked open to reveal a creature that could only be described as adorable despite the oddity of its form. 
It looked like a little marshmallow smiling up at me. The mini monster didn't have a typical body. Instead, its arms and legs sprang directly from its head, and it was just as small as its name suggested. As I flew back to the chest where my adventure began, anticipation surged through me. Opening the chest, I carefully arranged the remaining eggs in my inventory, each one a promise of yet unknown wonders. Here, in the world of Zoanomaly Seed, the boundaries of imagination were seemingly limitless. Each creature, so vastly different from anything known in the usual Minecraft realms, added layers of mystery and excitement to my adventure. With the eggs secured, I lifted into the air once more. There, a mysterious red structure caught my attention. It resembled a giant sprawling plant, its limbs reaching out as if to draw me closer. As I hovered over the structure, I decided it was the perfect spot for my next experiment. Using blocks of red wool, I quickly constructed a new enclosure atop the plant-like formation. I summoned the courage to spawn the rabbit monster. As the creature emerged, it was immediately clear that this was no ordinary rabbit. Standing on two legs, it grinned at me with a mouth full of crooked, sharp teeth, an unsettling smile plastered across its face. I turned my attention to a large, vein-like structure made of emeralds nearby. It seemed an appropriate place to introduce the next creature. I retrieved the egg labeled Monster Bear from my inventory, but when the creature emerged, it was nothing like a bear. It was long and skinny with a disproportionately small face, tiny ears, and yet another eerie smile. Its presence added an air of bizarre unpredictability to the landscape that had become my testing ground. Compelled to continue, I reached for the next egg labeled the Monster Cow. Upon spawning, it revealed itself not as a cow, but more akin to a very wide dog, devoid of a tail, with a human-like face. Its movements were odd, adding an unsettling yet intriguing element to this collection of creatures. After observing the monster cow for a moment, I organized my inventory to prepare for the next phase of my journey. Each creature, with its unique and sometimes unsettling features, challenged my expectations and expanded my understanding of what this world could contain. Despite the initial fear, selecting another egg, I took flight across the vibrant new biome, eventually landing near a majestic tree. Using leaf blocks, I built a tower up the tree, aiming to create a high perch from which to spawn the next creature. From atop my leafy tower, I released the monster monkey, this creature was an oddity with disproportionately long arms and short legs, so much so that it didn't walk on its legs, but seemed to shuffle awkwardly. The sight was bizarre yet captivating, a testament to the unpredictable nature of Zoanomaly Seed. Once the monster monkey was comfortably exploring its lofty new home, I descended the tree to spawn the next creature on my list. The giraffe monster was unlike any giraffe I had ever imagined. Instead of stretching gracefully towards the sky, its neck drooped downwards, and instead of the typical gentle expression, it wore a distinct frown. With a slight tremble in my hand, I spawned the smile cat. It emerged with not two, but four ears, and sported a wide, creepy smile revealing sharp, crooked teeth. The smile cat's grin was unsettling, making it a stark contrast to the sheep's calm demeanor. Eager to continue my journey through this land of anomalies, I took flight once again, heading towards one of the many emerald structures that dotted the landscape. Here, I would spawn the koala monster. When it appeared, the creature's large ears dominated its features, bizarrely positioned so they almost resembled eyes. Its odd smile gave it a peculiar expression, almost comical if not for the eerie setting. I decided it was time to spawn the cat monster. This creature was a dramatic departure from any typical cat, or any beast I had seen thus far. Massive in size, it loomed over me with a rabbit-like face and that all-too-familiar weird smile. I placed the egg down and the monster bird emerged. Moments after its appearance, an accidental shift in my footing caused a block to break beneath it. To my surprise, the monster bird fell, but astonishingly took no damage from the drop. This display of resilience piqued my curiosity even further, prompting me to test its abilities in a more challenging environment. Equipped with the idea of a true test, 
I equipped myself with the strongest armor and weapons available, netherite armor and a netherite sword. I also procured a god apple, preparing for what I anticipated would be a formidable battle. In the solitude of this vast biome, I switched to survival mode, ready to face the monster bird head on. As the fight commenced, the air around us charged with tension. However, the battle was abruptly short-lived. The monster bird, with its overwhelming strength, struck me down in just two hits. The shock of the defeat sent me reeling, and I found myself respawning back in the weird expanse of the biome. Without the ability to fly, grounded and humbled by my encounter, I realized just how vast and unexplored this biome truly was. Walking through the biome, now on foot, gave me a new perspective. The towering trees, the sprawling landscapes, and the distant structures looked even more imposing from the ground level. As I regained my ability to fly, I soared above the landscape, the breeze rushing past me as I returned to the enclosures I had constructed earlier. Once there, I shifted back into survival mode, curious to interact more directly with the creatures I had spawned. The first enclosure housed the mini monster, a peculiar little creature that had previously caught my attention. As I walked into the enclosure, I approached the mini monster cautiously. Despite tapping it a few times, it seemed utterly indifferent to my presence. It neither recoiled from my hits nor showed any intent to harm me. Its passivity piqued my curiosity as it went against everything I knew about the typical behavior of Minecraft mobs. Encouraged by this unexpected behavior, I moved to the next enclosure to test the reactions of another creature I had placed there. Like the mini monster, this creature showed no interest in attacking me, nor did it seem to take much damage from my attempts to engage it physically. Its resilience and disinterest in retaliation added another layer of mystery to the diverse inhabitants of this world. With my curiosity unsatisfied by the passive responses, I decided to escalate my experiments. I equipped myself once again with netherite gear, grabbed a golden apple for added protection, and armed myself with a bow and arrows. Fully prepared, I took to the skies, circling back over the red structure where I had trapped another creature earlier. From the air, I had a clear shot. I knocked an arrow to my bow, aiming carefully at the creature below. As I let each arrow fly, I watched as they struck the creature, curious to see its reaction. Despite the impact, the creature seemed remarkably resilient, barely reacting to the sharp projectiles. I shifted my focus, deciding to search for the monster bird that had defeated me earlier. Flying close to where our last encounter had ended, I quickly gathered all the items that had scattered from my inventory upon my defeat. In a bold move, I then decided to spawn all of the creatures I had encountered thus far in one place. Surprisingly, one of the monsters, a large and formidable beast, allowed me to latch onto it almost as if it were inviting me to ride. Clinging to it from the front, I felt a momentary thrill, a rare opportunity to bond with one of these unique creatures. Here, the rules of the usual Minecraft mobs did not apply. Armed once more in full netherite gear, with a golden apple clutched in my hand, I prepared for a significant test. As I switched back to survival mode, the scene turned chaotic instantly. The creatures charged at me in unison, their combined force overwhelming. Within a mere second, I was defeated again. So, to everyone watching, thank you for being part of this extraordinary journey. 